keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Hello, welcome to Just Keep It Simple. My name is Susan. Uh, today I want to introduce you to you uh, to a plan which is difficult in many ways, which is called the Orastaki Bumeri. Orastaki Bumeri is also uh, called the Chinese Dunes Cap. For this plan, uh, I've tried many types of soil, but this plant loves the high grit. Therefore, I'm using 70 to 80 percent high grit and the balance of the 20 to 30 percent uh, peat soil. On top of this, this plant loves the sun that we have in Malaysia. With the sun in Malaysia, the petals tend to grow round, and when there is insufficient sun, like uh, this plant's petal will be longish. Uh, therefore, you can actually tell if the petals becomes a bit long, therefore you need to move it somewhere where it can get plenty of sunlight. However, when there is uh, insufficient rain, uh, do water this plant, especially during the period of uh, this month. Uh, there's very minimal rain, therefore uh, perhaps two weeks once you give it a good watering. Otherwise, in the normal weather that we have in Malaysia, we do get rain once a week or twice a week. Now I want to show you closer to this plant. These are the offsets of the plant and, it, and it's growing downwards from the pot. So using a high pot also would be nice. Uh, I've also taken the uh, offset to plant uh, in a different pot and uh, I will show you later the success of the offset growing in another pot. If you look at it closer from this part here, uh, you can see the pink color that is uh, appearing on the petals uh, because of the sunlight that uh, is provided for this dunes cap. I'm a planter myself obviously so uh, I need to be honest with you that the first few times that I tried planting this dunes cap uh, it was a complete failure. I've got the plants from Cameron Highlands and I think the weather from uh, Cameron Highlands uh, in comparison with the weather in Selangor where I'm staying is totally different. So the plant did not survive. Therefore now um, what I'm showing you is something that I'm proud of and it's growing on its own basically without much care from my side. There's only two things you need to remember for this plant, giving them the high grade they need and providing them the direct sunlight and also our natural rain that comes off and on in Malaysia and I'm very sure you'll be successful. Uh, nevertheless, uh, do not uh, meddle with them as I mentioned uh, because they prefer to strive on their own and they will grow so beautiful. Now yeah I want to show you the offsets that I took from this plant. Uh, I've planted in this pot for almost about two weeks and you can see the new offsets coming from uh, the main one. Um, for this, I've used a uh, different type of soil because the offset are very young and they need to have uh, more peat soil to grow their roots. So therefore, this mix is about 50% grit and 50% uh, peat soil. I'm sure many will be curious about the offset after I plant into the soil. Uh, I did not water them at all and the same thing i put this next to the mother plant pot which is also outdoor and it has grown uh, beautifully for me and i'm pretty happy that uh, within these two weeks uh, you can see that it has uh, rooted yeah once you look at the plant like this uh, you know it is rooted and it's going to grow for you i hope my sharing today will help you uh, understand more about this plant uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have not subscribed my YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube. Have a good day and see you soon. Bye!